Welcome back to another video I have for you guys here today on Madden 19. Today is going to be a realistic rebuild of the Los Angeles Chargers. This is one of the best teams to have in Madden. They develop very well, so this one should be pretty fun. But before I get into the rest of the rebuild, as usual, uh, the links to my Discord, my Twitter, and my second channel are in the description if you would like to click on any of those. Also, really quickly, before I get into the team, it was pretty unanimous, but you guys all told me uh, to change the developments of rookies. And also, this dude, I did not change his development. He just has quick development in this roster, so I'm just going to let that go. I did not mess with that one. Uh, but I did mess with, on defense, Jerry Tillery. Now has quick development. I think that's fair. He's a beast. I feel like he should be higher than a 76. And also, Nasir Adderley has quick development. I feel like you can make an argument for him to have star. But I'm going to keep him at quick. Since he was a second round draft pick, I don't know. I feel like star and superstar should be reserved for first rounders. You can let me know what you think about that as well. But I feel like Nasir could definitely have a uh, star, but I'm, he's definitely better than normal. I know that much. Um, but here we go. Let's get into the team. Phillip Rivers starting at quarterback. He's a beast. 93 overall. One of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Very good awareness. 98 awareness for him. He wins MVP pretty routinely. I hope he can do that at least once for us. Melvin Gordon's a great running back in real life and in the game. He develops into a god. Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Travis Benjamin are the wide receivers. I definitely want to replace Travis Benjamin at some point, but Keenan Allen and Mike Williams are definitely here to stay. Uh, this, this offensive line kind of sucks. <laughs> Russell Okung starting at left tackle, 30 years old, looking to replace him. Dan Feeney at left guard isn't very good. And I always get the Pouncey brothers confused. Mike Pouncey starting at center. Not fantastic either. He's 29 years old. He's, he's very good, but 29 years old, I, I'm not really looking to have him for the long term. Forrest Lamp isn't even all that great. He's only a 76. And we got Trey Pimpkins here who could maybe develop, but very doubtful. Hunter Henry, though, starting at tight end. I'm excited to see what he can do, you know, in real life with a full season. He's a god. <laughs> he has a uh, star development in the game. 84 speed, 86 catching, 77 run blocking. He's very good. And then on the defense, we got Joey Bosa, who is a glitch in the game. Melvin Ingram plays really well. Jerry Tillery, now at starting defensive tackle. Brandon Meebane at the number two. He's getting up there in age two. He's 33 years old. Definitely looking to replace him at some point. This secondary is probably the best in football. I don't know, probably up there with, like, the Bears or something, but or the Ravens. This secondary is very good. Casey Hayward, 89 overall. What's his dev? He is star dev. That's fair. Desmond King had a great season this past year. He's also a pretty good punt returner. He's a solid number two. I think he's playing the slot right now as well. And then Trevor Williams is not bad whatsoever. 81 overall, quick dev. And then we got Nasir Adderley, the rookie out of Delaware. And then Derwin James. Derwin James like is like one of the best players you can get in this game. At least for rebuild purposes. He is ridiculous. He develops so well. He has superstar development. He's a rookie. He's an 87 overall. And he fits the scheme. So he should go up amazingly after this season. Denzel Perriman, Jatavis Brown. And okay, here we go. Let's try to pronounce this game again, and this name again. Uchenna and Wosu. For sure, butchered that one. I know he's a pass rusher, and says he's a 77 overall speed rusher, but, you know, he's pretty young, and he's, a, you know, a rookie, and he has quick dev, so I want him starting over Thomas Davis, even if he doesn't really fit the scheme all that well. I think that's, you know, perfectly fine. It's not that big of a deal in the game. And then here's what the specialist tab looks like. Pretty standard, probably from, you know, what you guys would expect this to look like. So this team should play pretty well this first season. I'm hoping we can... You know, get a lot of these young players to do well so they can go up in overall. Somehow the team is 2-5. and five. I swear it's just because I'm usering them. If this was like any other rebuild, they'd be 7-0 and right now. But we're in third place in the division. 5-3 and three for the Chiefs. 3-5 and five for the Broncos. 2-5 and five for the Raiders. It's not even like I made any differences, you know, to this team. It's like the exact same team. I guess I started some different players, but that shouldn't have really made much of a difference. Derwin James already has four experience points. That's pretty amazing. I didn't change the playbooks or anything either. Uh, because, you know, Phillip Rivers is usually amazing. So if he plays poorly this year, maybe I'll try to change the playbooks. Just see what happens. Uh, but Trevor Williams is the top free agent. I want him back on the team. He's a solid, you know, starting cornerback. Adrian Phillips, I don't really need anymore. He's not bad, but I have Nasir Adderley, and I want Adderley to start. Uh, Michael Badgley, I'll give a contract to. Um, Denzel Perriman, I'll probably give a contract to. Jalen Watkins, I don't really need anymore, so... I think I'm only going to give a contract to like three players. So Denzel Perriman, Michael Badgley, and Trevor Williams are all coming back to the team. So hopefully we can have like a nice second half of the season. Um, I don't know, maybe go 9-0. That would be pretty ridiculous. But let's see what the record's all about. I didn't actually expect to have a good second half of the season, but we made the playoffs. We went 10-6. and six. The Chiefs also went 10-6. and six. We ended up winning the division. The Raiders were 6-10. and 10, The Broncos 3-13. and 13. Wow. Okay, we turned that around very, very nicely. So what, 2-1-1 one one in the preseason, lost the opening three games, including a loss to the Bills. I mean, they're much better now, but it, it's still the Bills. They don't play well in the game. 
Uh, then I went on a nice two-game win streak, lost two more, won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games in a row, lost to the Ravens, beat the Broncos. So we beat the Chiefs, and I think we lost to them another time, right? Yeah, we did, and we have to take them on now, so anything can happen. Dalton, no, Deshaun Watson, almost said Dalton Reisner. What? If Dalton Reisner ever wins MVP, I'll give all of my subscribers 50 cents, but <laughs> Deshaun Watson wins MVP. Phillip Rivers, 4,370 yards, 40 touchdowns almost, 10 interceptions. Perfect season, honestly can't ask for too much more. Uh, Melvin Gordon was very good, but Austin Eckler somehow mooched 12 touchdowns. Melvin Gordon had 6, 1,257 yards, but you know, it's still a great season. Mike Williams was very good, 83 catches, 1,234 yards, 10 touchdowns. Keenan Allen, probably a bit better, 2 more touchdowns, a bit fewer yards, you know, 1 fewer reception. Hunter Henry was alright as well. Sack numbers, very good actually. For having not the best offensive line, they played well, at least in pass blocking. Uh, it seems like they played well in run blocking too, because Melvin Gordon had a good season. 123 tackles from Jatavis Brown, 107 from Denzel Perriman. We have 16 tackles for loss for Joey Bosa, 12 from Melvin Ingram. 9 sacks from Joey Bosa, 7 from Melvin Ingram. How many interceptions? 2 from Denzel Perriman, Trevor Williams, and Desmond King. 1 from Jatavis Brown, Casey Hayward, and Michael Davis. Where is Derwin James? How many tackles did he get? 89 tackles, 4 for loss, alright, not a bad season, no interceptions or anything, but that should still be a lot of experience points because he has superstar dev. Uh, so 3rd on offense, 22nd on defense, I guess we know which side of the ball to work on. Where is Phillip Rivers? At number 6, alright, fair enough. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Deshaun Watson wins that one too. Phillip Rivers at number 4. Defensive Player of the Year, J.J. Watt, Jatavis Brown actually comes in 2nd. Denzel Perriman in 5th, alright, I didn't think they played that well. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Lamar Jackson. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Darius Leonard wins that one. Uh, Derwin James at number 6. And that is it from our team. I didn't see Jerry Tillery or anything. His name's Jerry, right? Why do I feel like it could be Jeffrey? I hope it's not Jeffrey. I'm pretty positive that it's Jerry. Um, but 6 experience points here from Mike Williams is quite nice. What about Derwin James? He has 7. He's going to go up to a 94 overall. Let me just make sure. Your name's Jerry, right? Okay. I don't know why. I think I might have been thinking of, of Jeffrey Simmons or something, but whatever. Derwin James has 7. Desmond King has 3. And Nasir Adderley has 3. That's pretty nice. How did you get three? He didn't make a Pro Bowl, right? I mean, three is not that many, but still. I mean, he didn't make a Pro Bowl. But yeah, the team should go up pretty well here. So the team is an 83 overall after spending all of those experience points. And I think I found something out that's quite interesting. Going into red zone threat at wide receiver seems to be the best move. Because Mike Williams was an 81 overall, I think, at red zone threat. I spent six experience points on him, okay? So that went up to an 87, but his possession, like, somehow jumped over a red zone threat. Because his highest uh, overall, he actually was a red zone threat receiver, you know, when I started upgrading him. And I'm pretty sure possession went up, like, eight or nine, you know, with six experience points. So that might be the way to go. I don't know, but he's a 90 overall now with confidence, which is ridiculous. And then specialist-wise, you know, I mean, not specialist, defense, I don't know why I said that. Derwin James, 94 overall. It really does not get much better than him. He's ridiculous in the game. I really want to use him in some kind of franchise, but I don't think I really ever will. Jerry Tillery, though, didn't go up all that much, but I still want him starting there. Um, Nasir Adderley is now an 80. He's not too bad. Uh, Desmond King went up to an 89, so the team's looking pretty good, actually. We have to take on the Chiefs. You know, we split games with them throughout the regular season. They have a higher overall, but we are the Chargers. If I were the Chiefs right now, I'd probably be accepting a loss because the Chargers are insane. Here we go. We're going to win, and now we have to go take on the Patriots. They are an 85 overall as well. Let's see if we can advance, you know, to the divisional round. If we do, I, I, I'm guessing we're going to take on, like, the Jags or something. Now we're taking on the Texans after beating the Patriots here. They are 13-3. and three. They have an 86 overall team. Let's see if we can go to the Super Bowl first season. And then I'm going to make all these changes to the team through the draft and whatnot, and we're going to do really badly. That's just usually what happens. Here we go. Can we go to the Super Bowl? We can, and we have to take on the Cowboys. So here we go. Let me show you that I did not cheat in any of those games. I've never cheated before, so why would I start? Um, here we go. Here's this game. We won 31 to 28. That was a very close one. The divisional game, 42. That's not us. Where are we? There we are, 31 to 17. And then in the wild card round, we won 20 uh, to 14. So now we have to take on the Cowboys. They have a very good team in this game as well. Let's go into the game. Let's see if we can get a Super Bowl victory year one. So the Cowboys are kind of stomping on us right now. The score is 40 to 24. Can we make this comeback? Definitely not. 47 to 24. Our defense completely crumbles. 
Dak Prescott and his Cowboys destroy us. Dak Prescott, 311 yards, five touchdowns, zero interceptions. As of now, he seems like he's the MVP. Phillip Rivers had a good game, 306 yards, two touchdowns, but did throw one interception. Had a Zeke play. 198 yards. Oh my good God. I still think I'd give MVP to Dak because he had five touchdowns, zero interceptions. I mean, but Zeke was very close. Who knows? He could have even won it. I would understand either way. Melvin Gordon, again, had a pretty good game, but completely outshined by Ezekiel Elliott. Travis Benjamin actually played really well. Randall Cobb, two touchdowns. Amari Cooper, two touchdowns. Mike Williams, Ezekiel Elliott, Travis Benjamin uh, each got a touchdown. Zeke had a receiving touchdown as well. My God, they destroyed us. We were no match. We have $34.96 million here to spend. Who can we bring in? Jay Ajayi is the top player, so probably no one. Jonathan Jones is a decent player, but I definitely don't need cornerbacks on this team. What do I even need? I could probably use a defensive tackle, but I don't think there's any good defensive tackles here. I might even try to draft one. Like, Corey Legion's pretty good, but he's 29. Antoine Woods, not too bad. He's only 26. Muhammad Wilkerson could probably play defensive tackle, but I'm going to let that go. He's 29 as well. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to go after anyone in free agency. At least, as of now, it doesn't seem like I'm going to. Um, I'll definitely let you know if I do end up signing someone. I actually did go after someone. I went after Matt Skira because he's definitely not a bad center. Now we can have either Mike Pouncey slide to guard or Skira slide to guard. I'll figure it out. I might even throw, like, Pouncey on the trade block. Actually, I don't know about that. I might want to keep him for one more season because he isn't too bad just yet. Whatever. Regardless, Skira is going to start somewhere. So since we lost the Super Bowl, we draft the second last pick of every round here. So, Justin Herbert's still here. Now, obviously, I don't need him. I don't need a cornerback. I threw auto-scouting on, so that's why it scouted, like, everyone here. I could go with a wide receiver. Henry Ruggs is not bad. I don't need a running back. Don't need a tight end. I think Bed Breenson's actually pretty good. And I actually really need an offensive lineman. And there's better... Not better, but there's still good wide receivers later. I think I'm going to go that route, then. I think I'm going to go with Ben Breedson. Here we go. Welcome to the team. 79 overall, quick development. Definitely not a bad selection. You are easily going to start. You'll probably become our, you know, highest overall offensive lineman near the end of this. I think with this pick here, I'm going to go with Tyler Vons. I feel like I just recently drafted him, so I apologize if I did. You know, but he's still here, and he's very good, so I'm going to go with him here. 79 overall, quick development. Very nice wide receiver. He's going to fill in very well at number three. I think with this pick, I'm going to go with uh, this two for tough Borland guy. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced. He looks all right. Maybe he can slide outside and play outside linebacker. He's a 74 overall normal dev. All right, so he's pretty solid. He might be able to go up to like a 77, 78 overall outside. Avery Cole looks decent, but I have definitely drafted him in the past, and I don't remember what his overall is. I'm going to go with him again, though. 74 overall normal dev. Okay, he's definitely good. I think he might be good enough to start. Because I'm pretty sure the right tackle we currently have is like a 73 overall. You know, for essentially having the last pick in each round, I think we drafted very well. We have a new starting guard. That's for certain. We have a new starting wide receiver. We might have a new starting outside linebacker. Not entirely sure. Likely another starting offensive lineman and then some other random depth players. But let's check out who went in the top five. Derek Brown went number one overall. Andrew Thomas, number two. Jerry Judy, number three. Tua went to the Giants, number four. And then CJ Henderson rounds out the top five, going to the Jaguars. I'm deciding to trade for a defensive tackle, so Puna Ford was on the trade block. So I'm going to allow myself to trade for him. I'm giving the Seahawks Russell Okung in exchange for Ford. The team is now up to an 85 overall, 87 offense, 89 defense. This offense looks a lot better now. The offensive line is very much different. So I have Matt Scarra playing left tackle. The only reason for that is because he fits the scheme over here, you know, in this spread scheme. Ben Breedson fits the scheme at left guard, which is nice. Mike Pouncey is going to chill on this team for one more season. Forrest Lamp at right guard, and then Avery Cole at right tackle. So Mike Williams, I really hope you can have another dominant season. You're now a 90 overall. I want Tyler Vaughn's also up in the depth chart. There we go. Keenan Allen can hopefully, you know, have another insane season too. Phillip Rivers, Melvin Gordon do their thing hopefully and then on defense not all that much changed i mean we have puna ford now at defensive tackle number two um i think everything else honestly is the same i guess tooth borland or tough however i'm just gonna say borland uh borland is starting a backup middle linebacker but i actually have him as the second sub linebacker over denzel Perriman. i'm not sure if i really want to do this i mean because if he wins defensive rookie of the year there's a chance he could get a good number of experience points so i think i'll let him go you know for this season here and then the rest of the specialist looks pretty much the same as last year. This team should once again play well. 
Uh, but let's see what happens. The team is actually undefeated at the mid-season mark. That is really nice to see. 4-3 though for the Chiefs, 5-2 for the Raiders, and then 1-7 for the Broncos. Hopefully this isn't like a reciprocal season as last year, you know? Hopefully we don't have a really poor end of the season and a really strong start. Hopefully we can just have a, you know, strong season, you know, all together. Uh, Mike Williams has two experience points on offense, and then defensively, two for Derwin James and Nasir Adderley. Everybody else I can see has one. That's not too bad, though. So Joey Bosa has to come back to the team. I definitely would like to do that. Melvin Gordon I want. Phillip Rivers I'll probably give a contract to. I know he's 37 years old, but he is so good in this game. Hunter Henry I would like back. Austin Eckler actually played really well last season, so I'll probably give him a contract. Jatavis Brown I want. Travis Benjamin and Mike Pouncey I don't really want all that much. Michael Davis isn't really needed. And then nobody else down here uh, is that needed as well. Joey Bosa, Melvin Gordon, Phillip Rivers, Hunter Henry, Austin Eckler, Jatavis Brown are all coming back to the team. Nobody had any issues with their contracts. It was very simple. So we ended up with a first round bye. We also won in week 17. Did we go undefeated? 15 and one, no, I can never go undefeated. Obviously that's an insane record. I'm, I'm actually really happy the team played that well, but still I wanna go undefeated so badly. Who did we lose to? The Colts by two points. Don't tell me a kicker missed a field goal. I'll be livid, I won't believe you. Did he miss a field goal? Field goal percentage, no, he didn't have any attempts. No, we actually lost that game. That sucks. All right, well, anyway, Phillip Rivers wins MVP. Let's get it. 4,663 yards, 40 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Literally, I think, better in every single category from last year. Melvin Gordon, very good once again. 1,232 yards, 6 touchdowns, but Austin Eckler got 10 rushing touchdowns. That's why I re-signed him. He's a pretty good backup in this game. Mike Williams, 96 catches, 1,411 yards, 12 touchdowns. What kind of a season is that? Keenan Allen, very good once again. Hunter Henry was solid. Tyler Vaughns wasn't too bad. He got six touchdowns. Sack numbers, not that bad. I mean, Matt Skira is playing a new position, so 10 is pretty understandable. Ben Breedson was a rookie, so 10 also pretty understandable. 113 tackles in total for Jatavis Brown. 13 tackles for loss for Puna Ford. He was a pretty good acquisition. Then 12 for Melvin Ingram, 10 for two other guys down there. 11 and a half sacks for Joey Bosa, 7 for Melvin Ingram. We have two interceptions from Derwin James, Nasir Adderley, and Casey Hayward Jr. One from Desmond King, Denzel Perriman, Trevor Williams, and Michael Davis. Any defensive touchdowns? I feel like I didn't check this last year. There's a good shot I didn't. Trevor Williams has one. No safeties. And three blocked kicks. Melvin Ingram, DJ Jones, uh, Nick Zubnar. I doubt you pronounced that D. I don't know. But uh, we were first on offense. That's pretty dope. What about defense? Seventh. Okay, we definitely improved both sides of the ball. Anybody else from the Chargers? I don't see anyone. Wait, Tua was up there though. He's a 91 overall here for the Giants. They also went 10 and 6 with him. Philip Rivers, Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Ryan Shazier. Jatavis Brown though at number three. Desmond King at number 10. All right, I didn't think he played that well. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Jake Fromm. Tyler Vaughn's at number four though. Let me just see something. NFC was it Tua? Of course it was Tua. All right. Defensive Player of the Year, Jacob Phillips wins that one. Baron Browning, I wanted to draft him, but I don't think he was available when I had the chance to. Uh, Toof Borland, I said I was just going to say Borland because I don't know how to pronounce his first name, so my bad. I'm going to try to remember just to call him Borland from now on. Uh, he's at number 8, I don't think anybody else from our team was on that list. We also have a ton of experience we can spend for the coach, 5,700. So 8 experience points here from Mike Williams, oh my god, he's going to be a 98 overall. How does he develop this well? I mean, he's good in real life. Don't get me wrong. He had a good season this past year. I think he has a ton of potential. And he's going to get a lot more targets now that Tyra Williams is, you know, no longer on the team. But my God, <laughs> he develops so well. And then Phillip Rivers, good old Phillip, wins MVP and Offensive Player of the Year. Does not get one experience point because it requires 75,000 experience to do so. My good God. <laughs> All right, defensively, we have three for Derwin James, six for good old Nasir. Let's get it. Is that a Pro Bowl? Um, that is a Pro Bowl. Let's go. Wait, do you have star development now? Is that what that also said? Hold on. Yeah, you do have star development. That's awesome. Not that many experience points for anyone else, but still, a couple players going off right now. This team is insanely good right now, and I can't wait to have another season with them too. Hopefully, though, we can make it through the playoffs and maybe win a Super Bowl here. But Mike Williams, you know, up to a 98. Look at these stats. He has one, two, three, four, five, almost six stats at 99. <laughs> That's insane. 
And then defensively, Nasir Adderley no longer fits the scheme. I went, you know, solely into zone and run support jumped over it, which is annoying when that happens, but can never really be that mad about a two overall boost. It just sucks that he doesn't fit this game anymore. I can try to alter this game to make him fit it, but we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, the team's looking really good. Let's advance the week. Who do we have to take on in the divisional round? It's going to be the Bills. They beat us earlier in this rebuild, I think the first season. They're only an 80 overall. Wow. I guess the players they have just play well. Let's advance the week. We should be able to win, but this is probably going to be the playoff game we lose. It's not. All right, good. We have to take on the Ravens now. 27 to 20, though. That was still a very close game. Uh, the Ravens, 87 overall compared to our 89. Let's advance here. Can we take down the Ravens? I sent them to the Pro Bowl. I meant to go to the Super Bowl, but we did win. So we're going back to the Super Bowl against the Giants. Man, they draft Tua and are now a Super Bowl team. That's interesting. Um, let's check out these other two games, though. So I know we won 27 to 20 there against the Bills, then 27 to 24 against the Ravens. Very close games. Hopefully the Super Bowl is a blowout in our favor. Let's see what their overall is, though. It's probably like an 80. It's an 81. They're not even all that good. And Tua and Saquon just carry this team, I guess. All right, we are in control of the Super Bowl here. 34 to 14 currently. 34 to 21. Now the Giants scored a touchdown. 34 to 28. They nearly came back in that one. We just barely won that Super Bowl. A one possession game against another NFC East team, which is kind of funny if you think about it. But look at the confetti. It's the Chargers colors. We won a Super Bowl. All right, I'm going to skip by this, though. Just in case we're here next year, maybe I can look at it then. Phillip Rivers, 192 yards, two touchdowns, zero picks. Pretty safe game. Didn't really turn the ball over at all, so that's nice to see, at least in the passing department. Tua wasn't that good. 263 yards, but two interceptions. Melvin Gordon wasn't even all that good. 32 for 118. That's not horrible, but you'd like that average to be over four. One touchdown for him. Tua also had a rushing touchdown. Uh, Golden Tate was pretty solid. Mike Williams, Jeff Thomas, Tyler Vaughns each scored touchdowns. So if it wasn't for that stupid game against the Colts, we wouldn't have went entirely undefeated. But that's all right. Maybe we can do it next year. Um, so there's no one here who I really want. I guess, you know, Pat O'Donnell's pretty good. I'll actually give him a contract quick. Will you accept that? Uh, you will. Okay, so you're going to remain our punter. That's fine. I don't want anybody else. Let's head into free agency. Who can we bring in? Hopefully there's some, you know, big, ma big name offensive linemen. There normally never are, though. Uh, so just under $29 million to spend. Uh, Kareem Hunt's the top player. Carson Wentz is also here. That'd be funny to bring him in. Anthony Brown's a good corner, but I don't think I need him. Yeah, Casey Hayward's still all right. I'm fine with him for one more season. Don't need a defensive end. Yeah, okay, there's no one here who I really want. Who else was near the top? Eric Ebron, don't need him. Derek Henry, I uh, definitely don't need. Let me check out, what is Melvin Ingram's overall right now? 84. I might be able to look to draft... A defensive end like I would not mind drafting like Micah Parsons but I don't think I'm gonna be in the area to do so but uh, you know we'll see what happens in the draft I actually just decided to you know grab Mike Pouncey again he's still 78 overall with some confidence I guess and no one else gave him a contract so I was able to get him for relatively cheap he should be good for one more season you know what the plan is for this draft I'm just gonna set the Chargers up brilliantly Trevor Lawrence is now on the team he's gonna be the backup quarterback and once Phillip Rivers retires you know they have an amazing quarterback to back him up so now we are at the end of the second round. Justin Fields is still here. I'm not going to go with him. Who do I even want right now? Um, is there a left tackle I could go with? That guy doesn't look too bad. 5.9, uh, you know, combine grade. 38 bench press reps. He might be the, the player because he actually looks pretty good. Let's go with that guy. He looks actually really nice. 75 overall, but what's your strength? 90 strength? I thought 38 would be like 95 strength. All right, I'm just going to send him to the end of the draft. I don't really care about anyone else here. You know, what I might end up doing on this rebuild is going two more seasons. So going this next year and the year following that, because I kind of want Trevor Lawrence to play, you know, some games with this team just to see what he can do. But let's check out the draft recap. Who else did we snag here in this draft? We got Crosby Mitchell, 72 overall left end, okay, 71 overall tight end, 73 overall corner, 70 overall corner near the end of the draft. Who went in the top five of this one? Rondell Moore, number one overall, Tyson Campbell, Caden Stearns, Foster Sarrell, Stanford Samuels the third. Also, I should probably note once again, I know Rondell Moore does not go to Vanderbilt. This draft class just gets it wrong. The team here entering the third season is an 89 overall, pretty similar to what we had last season. I don't think we drafted anybody who is going to start just yet. But like I mentioned earlier, I think I want to go another season after this just to see what Trevor Lawrence can do with this team. Um, but on the defense, everything is the same. You know, it's like the exact same team, just upgraded. This team's ridiculous. We should, you know, definitely go back to the Super Bowl again. I, I guess I shouldn't say that, but we should go back to the playoffs at least. The team is 5-2, and two, so that shatters any hopes of going undefeated. 
Derwin James needs to come back. I don't know why I clicked on the free agents now, but I'm just going to go through with them. All right, maybe we can't go another season. If I don't have enough money to bring everybody back, I will end it after this one, but let's see. Can we bring everybody back? I want Derwin James and everyone else there, honestly, so I'll let you know who I can get back here. We should have enough money, actually. As of right now, I have uh, Forrest Lamp, Jerry Tillery, Nasir Adderley, Desmond King, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, and Derwin James returning to the team. Puna Ford was down there as well. Um, I might give him a contract later. I just don't want him right now. And then Melvin Ingram, he's going to go down in overall a lot after this season, so I really don't want him anymore. Uh, I could probably sign a replacement for him in free agency, though, if I need to. But Nasir Adderley has two experience points here on defense. That's pretty nice to see. Offensively, we have one for a whole bunch of different players. So yet again, we end up making the playoffs with a first round bye. We have 11 and 5 record. That's not too bad. 9 and 7 for the Chiefs, 6 and 10 for the Raiders, 5 and 11 uh, for the Broncos. The season was worse than last year, but it was still very solid. 4 0 in the preseason, won the opening two games, lost to the Bills again. Why are we so bad against the Bills in the regular season? Won three more, lost to the Dolphins, won two, lost to the Raiders, beat the Ravens, lost to the Chiefs, won the last three games. All right, so who won MVP? Was it Phillip again? It was not. It was Jake Fromm. Okay. So Phillip Rivers, 4,353 yards, 40 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. Once again, such an elite season. Melvin Gordon was very solid again, 1,310 yards. Doesn't get that many touchdowns, but he's still playing extremely well. Mike Williams, 12 touchdowns, 1,272 yards. Hunter Henry had 10 touchdowns. Keenan Allen, once again, over 1,000 yards. These guys are all playing so well. Sack number is going down, which is always what I want to see. 113 tackles this time from Denzel Perriman, 113 from Desmond King as well. Tackles for loss, we have 12 from Desmond King. How did you get 12 tackles for loss? That's a lot for a corner. 12 from Joey Bosa, 11 from Jatavis Brown. We have 10 sacks from Joey Bosa, 6.5 from Puna 4. Not too bad at D-tackle. Three interceptions for three players. Jatavis Brown, Derwin James, Desmond King, one from Casey Hayward, Trevor Williams, and Nasir Adderley. Oh, and Clarence Horton. I actually didn't even see that guy. Any defensive touchdowns this year? Uh, we have one from Derwin James, one safety from Jerry Tillery, and one blocked kick from Crosby Mitchell. So we were fifth on offense this year. What about defense? Was it top 10 once again? It was eighth, so it was. All right. Jake Fromm, MVP. We already saw that. Phillip Rivers at number four. Carson Wentz went to the Cowboys. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hope that never happens. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Jake Fromm. Phillip Rivers right behind him. Nobody else from our team. A defensive player of the year. Telvin Smith wins that one. Uh, Denzel Perriman, Desmond King, number five and number six. Offensive rookie of the year, Justin Fields. Nobody from the Chargers. Defensive rookie of the year, Stanford Samuels the third. I don't know why I read that name, but came in second. For some reason, I thought that said Chargers. I'm just kind of an idiot sometimes. Nobody from the Chargers, though. Why did I think I was doing the Dolphins? I don't know, man. But here we go. How many experience points? Not too many here on offense, but the team is already like so upgraded, it doesn't even really matter. Uh, defensively, again, not that many. I mean, Nasir Adderley has three, which is always nice to see. Let's upgrade these players here. We have to take on the Texans here in the divisional round, but first, the team is a 95 on offense and on defense. Hunter Henry somehow has another experience point. Uh, let's just go into possession, get his overall up. I'll show you guys the rest of the team here. That was a huge upgrade package. Tight ends get a lot of different stats upgraded whenever you, you know, upgrade them. Um, but Mike Williams, a clear 99 now. Nice to see. Defensively, Nasir Adderley is developing so well. He's a 92 overall. Derwin James has two more experience points, but I can't even use them right now. If I change his position, I could, and somehow his dev went down. Whatever. Uh, let's check out the Texans, you know, overall. They're in 88. We have the overall advantage. Can we go undefeated in the playoffs? That would be dope. I mean, I know we lost the Super Bowl, but can we go undefeated in the playoff games that are not Super Bowls? We cannot. We lost. 21-13 to there. I'll just show you that I didn't cheat, but why would I cheat to lose? I don't know. Maybe you guys think that. That's strange, though. 21 to 13. We just clearly lost that game. We outgained them, though. Who played poorly? Phillip Rivers, two interceptions. Not what I like to see. Well, that might be Phillip Rivers' last game as a Charger. Not a good one to have, though, to be honest. One player I think I'm going to re-sign before I head into free agency is going to be Puna Ford. He's been playing pretty well for us so far, so I'll give him a contract just for this last season. If I if there's like a really good defensive tackle in free agency, like a you know high 80, maybe low 90, maybe even higher than that, I'll probably still sign him, but I want Puna Ford in case I can't get another defensive tackle. So let's head into free agency, sign some free agents, $29 million to do so. Christian McCaffrey is likely the top guy. There he is. Uh, Derek Barnett I definitely want because I need another defensive end um, since Melvin Ingram is no longer here. Almost said Melvin Gordon. That's not who it is. So I'll probably go after Derek Barnett. I don't know if I'm going to go after uh, a defensive tackle. I might just leave it how it is. 
I could go after, like, you know, Clayus Campbell and have him play D-Tackle. But I'm just going to go after Derek Barnett. I think he's going to be the only player I target in this free agency period. There's really no one I need. I'm really just doing this last season just to see how Trevor Lawrence plays. And I think he's going to play extremely well. I actually went after one other player, too. I went after Dante Hightower just to get a better linebacker core, you know, in general. So the team is looking ridiculous right now. It's a 93 overall. I really don't need, like, anything in this draft. So I'm just going to sim directly through the draft. I'm going to sim to the draft first. And actually, no, I won't sim through it. Let's go into the first round. I'll take my first round draft pick. Let's see who is even here. I didn't draft or I didn't scout at all. I have the auto scouting on. Who's good? Let me just look, you know, at the top. 7.4 combine grade left end. That guy looks like a god. 7.8 combine grade corner. Okay, some really nice looking guys, but let me sim to my pick. It's 27th. This is the lowest pick we've had. That's a sign of a good rebuild. If 27th is like the best draft pick you've had so far. Who is here? There's a running back who actually looks really good. Wow. Trey Angerer. Angerer? Okay, what a name. Dixon Gray. This guy also looks very good. Really nice looking halfback, uh, halfback class. Who do I want, though? It's probably going to be one of those guys because I don't really like anybody else here. Good looking run stopping outside linebacker. Keiston Mack. All right. Um, there's an outside linebacker out of Buffalo. Shades of Khalil Mack, but looks much worse. Let me just go with a running back. One of these top guys, maybe. Um, let's go with... Let's go with Angerer. 77 overall, but he has superstar dev. Only 83 speed, but very good stats, you know, elsewhere. He's kind of like a fullback here. Obviously, I wasn't too worried about that draft because, like I mentioned earlier, I don't really need anyone on this team anymore. I think the team is perfectly fine, and it can easily go back to the playoffs again. Unless Madden screws me over, you never really know. But even if I don't have a good season this last year, I've had three very good seasons, so I'm not too worried. Alante Hurst, 76 overall, quick developing wide receiver, very fast, 93 speed, 85 catching, and he's six foot one. That guy looks pretty good. He's only 176 pounds though. I feel like he's really, really skinny. So who was good in this draft class? I honestly have no idea. Let me sort by overall. That was that the dude with the seven combine grade? I think it was 83 overall, superstar dev. My God, Malik Boone, what a dude. Tyrone Tolbert, 82 overall, strong safety. This guy also looks very good. He's a better man than zone, which is interesting. Daquan Stuvance. All right. Fisher Gibson. Maca Mayer. These names are interesting. Andre McClam. <laughs> Joey Inzer. Morgan Atkins. Okay, well, this draft class actually looked pretty good. Oh, hold on. This corner. This was the 7.8 combine grade, dude. 94 speed, 98 acceleration, 94 agility. Yikes. You know, in real life, if the Chargers win the Super Bowl in the next, like, two years, and Phillip Rivers is still the quarterback, I feel like after that, he'd probably retire, but he's still here now, 39 years old, <laughs> just chilling on this team. He's going to be the backup just to mentor Trevor Lawrence, maybe have, like, a Patrick Mahomes sort of situation where, you know, you sit out your entire first year, essentially, and then come in the second season and win MVP. That's ideal. But there's the offense. Here's the defense. This team is ridiculous. We should be able to make it back to the playoffs very easily. We made the playoffs here again with another first-round bye. And we won in week 17. Show me undefeated. 13-1-2. That's the weirdest record I think I've ever had. We tied twice somehow. Alright, well anyway, the Chiefs 10-6, the Broncos 9-6-1, the Raiders 3-12-1. Guarantee we tied to the Broncos and the Raiders. Let's check out the schedule though. We did only lose one game. You know, we had two rebuilds, or not two rebuilds, two seasons in this rebuild where we did only lose one game. We tied the opening game. We went on a three-game win streak, lost to the Texans. That was the only loss we had all season. Then we won two more. Tied to the Cowboys, actually. We didn't even tie to the Raiders. Right, we tied to the Broncos in the first week, right? Yeah, so there were a lot of ties this season. Okay, well, anyway, MVP was actually Trevor Lawrence. Let's go. That was, like, perfectly planned. 4,966 yards, 49 passing touchdowns. This is, like, ridiculously similar to Patrick Mahomes. So Patrick Mahomes had 5,097 yards, 50 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. This is weird because the same exact kind of thing happened here with Trevor Lawrence. Obviously, he had, you know, a good number fewer interceptions. He had seven fewer interceptions, but uh, 49 touchdowns, nearly 50, nearly the same uh, number of passing yards. It's just funny that the same exact thing happened. He just didn't have a game to play his rookie season. He didn't play at all in, uh, Trevor Lawrence didn't play at all in his rookie season, but I'll check out Melvin Gordon. How did he do? 1147 yards, three touchdowns. He does not score many touchdowns at all. Somehow Austin Eckler like outscores him every season. Mike Williams is absolutely disgusting. What even is that season? Is that the best like season a receiver has ever had? 
It's very close, right? 21 receiving touchdowns? Are you kidding me? Over 100 catches, nearly 1,700 yards? My God. Hunter Henry, 900 yards, essentially 86 catches, 11 touchdowns. He had a great season. Keenan Allen, once again, over 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Jesus. <laughs> Those seasons were all insane, but Mike Williams, of course, having the most mind-blowing one. 110 total tackles there from Denzel Perryman, 108 from Jatavis Brown, 18 tackles for loss for Jerry Tillery, not bad. Joey Bosa, 14 and then, uh, I almost said 14 and a half because I saw nine and a half sacks. Uh, 14 from Puna Ford though, not that many sacks. Nine and a half from Joey Bosa, five from Jatavis Brown at number two. Two interceptions from Brown, two for Desmond King, one from Nasir Adderley, Dante Hightower, Derwin James, Casey Hayward, and Trevor Williams. Defensive touchdowns, we have one by Nasir Adderley. No safeties. Um, three blocked kicks, Jerry Tillery, Kaiser White, Latevin Sutton. All right. First on offense, obviously. I mean, you nearly have 5,000 passing yards. You have to be first, pretty much. 19th on defense, though. Okay. So Trevor Lawrence, MVP. Anybody else from uh, the Chargers? I don't see anyone. AFC Offensive Player of the Year also goes to Lawrence. Mike Williams at number nine. Yo, I've never seen a wide receiver in this. That is amazing. That is actually phenomenal. He should be an MVP. Like, I mean, come on. I feel like if he had that season in real life, he would be at least considered for MVP. Defensive player of the year goes to Miles Jack. Jatavis Brown, though, at number two. Denzel Perriman at number four. Offensive rookie of the year goes to that Maka Mayer guy. How do you pronounce that? Oh, no, Thomas. Oh, man, what a name. At number five. Trey Angerer at number seven. These names are so strange. Tyrone Tolbert wins uh, defensive rookie of the year. Best quarterback is Trevor Lawrence. Has to be. Best running back, Joe Mixon wins that one. So Melvin Gordon is not on this list, but I understand. He only had like three touchdowns, so it makes sense. Mike Williams, of course, best wide receiver. By like, I'm sure by a long shot. Um, Keenan Allen in there at number six, not too bad. Best offensive lineman, Joel Batonio. Ben Breedson at number eight, not too bad. Best defensive lineman, Miles Garrett. Joey Bosa at number six. Best linebacker, Miles Jack wins that one. Jatavis Brown, though, at number four. Best defensive back. We don't have anybody in the best defensive back list. Best kicker, Graham Gano wins it. Michael Badgley at number seven. Not too bad. Also, I didn't mention this, but I'm sure you guys figured it out by now. I didn't import a uh, custom draft class for this past season. I just did a random one. I don't want to look for a 2022 draft class. Ten experience points for Trevor Lawrence. He's going to go up to a 99. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this team is so stupid. This team is actually dumb. It, it's just so easy. It's a lot of fun, though. If you guys are, like, trying to get into rebuilds or whatnot, start off with the Chargers. They're a very fun team to rebuild. The team's overall is a 94. There really are not, like, any holes on this team. Maybe at center, because Mike Pouncey's only a 77, but he's been playing well. So, I mean, there, there really are not holes on this team at all. So here we go. Let's advance the week. Who do we have to play in the first round of the playoffs here? I guess the second round, if you think about it. Uh, we have to play the Chiefs. All right, but before I do that, I want to actually check out Trevor Lawrence's stats. What is he up to with everything? 99 throw power, 98 deep accuracy, 95 medium. I auto-upgraded him, so I didn't actually go in and do it, but my god, he is insane. So we should have a higher overall than the Chiefs. Um, we do, but not by much. They're a 92. I definitely wouldn't be surprised if we lost this game, but we shouldn't. Let's see if we can beat the Chiefs again in the playoffs. We can, okay. We have to go against the Texans. I think we're, we have a pretty good record against the Texans as well in the playoffs. They're a 91. They're also a very good team right now. Deshaun Watson's probably almost a 99 too. Let's go to the Pro Bowl. Did we take down the Texans? Uh, we did not actually. 31 to 23. We're going to lose that game. I was hoping to go to another Super Bowl, but I'll take four straight playoff appearances and three straight first round buys. You know, I'll, I'll definitely take that. But let's check out these two games here. So 21 to 13, lost to the Chiefs. 31 to 23, lost to the Texans. So this rebuild is going to come to an end right now, but I think it like kind of worked out perfectly. Somehow we like beautifully mimicked what the Chiefs did with Patrick Mahomes and Alex Smith and whatnot. Obviously very different quarterbacks, but still, it's just kind of funny. I mean, you know, Patrick Mahomes and Trevor Lawrence are, are quite comparable, I'd say. Both have cannons, both have ridiculous arm talent. Patrick Mahomes is just much faster, at least in the game, because Trevor Lawrence only has 71 speed. But thank you guys very much for watching this rebuild. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, especially you Chargers fans out there. I'm hoping I didn't upset any of you guys. I mean, the only trade I made was Russell Okung for, uh, for Puna Ford. I hope that wasn't too infuriating to you guys but thanks for watching this video one last time if you guys ended up enjoying feel free to leave a like it helps me out in the end thank you guys so much for watching these videos the views i know have been going up over the past like few weeks and i really really appreciate it it's awesome to see you know each one of these videos get around like 5,000 views it's actually sick also 
feel free to comment whatever you would like. I try to respond to every comment that I can. Um, if you guys have commented in the past, you should know that, that I try to respond as frequently as possible. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.